All right, so recording now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. We have a very special episode for you today. You may have heard on some of our recent podcasts or seen on our social media that Cassie and I have been talking a lot about Vital Fields Energy Cells. We've tried their anti-inflame and their no pain, and we're obsessed. We love them. And today we have Jan Wellman, who is one of the creators of Vital Fields and the Energy Cells, to answer all the questions we have on how they work and how they were created and they're just so amazing. We're so excited to talk to you, Jan. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, my pleasure. I'm very excited to be on. Yay. So can you start by telling our listeners a little bit about who you are, how you've gotten sure. to where you are today, and how that relates sure. to vital fields and the energy cells? I, I think the best uh, way to introduce the energy cells is actually to inst- introduce uh, my background story of how I got inspired, the whole whole idea of energy cells. Um I, I was originally born in Finland. I'm half German. Um, I grew up in Finland, a very small country next to Russia, if, if someone hasn't heard of it yet. Um, and um, was actually um, educated in business uh, in the US. Uh, but most of my professional life, I was in film production, uh, film, no, more like TV. TV documentary production on both sides of the pond, which is in London and Los Angeles. And in my early forties, uh, I, I was I would I would say I was living a very very uh, hectic life, typical stressed life. I was working for, uh, amongst other projects, for um, um, a production company that was producing. Uh, films for Discovery and um, History Channel, and you are under incredible pressure in in this environment. And I was getting the typical type of um, uh, low energy symptoms. Uh, in but I'm 55 now, so that was approximately 15, 17 years ago. And I don't think the concept of autoimmune was very widely known at that stage yet. I mean, Mm -hmm. people were definitely eliciting symptoms of autoimmune, but um, I had multiple symptoms plus burnout symptoms. And and while I was uh, taking care of myself, I was pretty knowledgeable about nutrition and exercise, et cetera. So there was nothing wrong with my discipline of taking care of myself, but uh, I would say that if, if, I, if I would give a personal estimate, I would say 80 to 90% of our health happens between our ears. It's, it's mm-hmm. mental. Mm-hmm. And, and we can do a lot of right things about micronutrition. We can do a lot of right things about how we eat, how we exercise, etc. Uh, but ultimately, most of the collective, I mean, cumulative symptoms that we gather is because of the modern lifestyle that... Um, uh, uh, is somehow directly or in, uh, indirectly increasing our chronic stress. I, I would say this is the biggest driver. And, and there's a lot of things that drive this type of energy loss that is related to uh, uh, chronic stress. I would say when we do things and work on things that we're not aligned with, that's one type of energy loss, for example. Mm-hmm. Or if we're in a relationship that we're not comfortable with, uh, that's an energy loss. We all know that. Uh, but very few people realize that if you uh, let these type of signals, low energy signals, accumulate, um, then your health is going to degenerate. And I think um, I got to a point where uh, I was, let, let's say, in a critical, critical stage where my energy was so low, I was beginning to uh, manifest not just uh, burnout symptoms, but uh, when you don't have the energy to feed your immune system, then your uh, weakest parts start to manifest. So in my play, in my case, for example, it had to do with the gut, uh, bacterial balance, um, uh, allergies. Uh, I got uh, several uh, issues with parasites. I fought with parasites for probably five, seven years. And it's incredible how, uh, how little even the top experts in the world know about parasites and how they work. Once you start getting issues with parasites, you usually, you go to a top modern doctor and they give you antibiotics mm-hmm. uh, and then they 
let you get you back home. But um, the problem is that antibiotics uh, 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 compromise your immune system even mm -hmm. further. So you just get on this path. Same with uh, a lot of women who have a UTI, a UTI condition, for example, they go and, and take a take an antibiotic and and it solves the situation but uh, you know they have the problem next time sooner mm -hmm. and so i i had been doing this type of thing for probably 10 years i've been an entrepreneur for all my life and living from one project to another always very quickly i would say that i also have as a background uh, also have definitely aspects of ADHD. So you can never quiet down because you need to do something. So um, getting into this, uh, I would say almost kind of a rat race of trying to heal myself with modern medicine wasn't working out for me. Mm -hmm. And I realized that um, it didn't matter who I was talking to uh, from regular doctors. Uh, they were giving me similar advice that wasn't really helping me. And it, it occurred to me later on that a lot of other people were in the same situation, mm -hmm. the same predicament. I was also uh, setting up a company at that stage where that was doing a lot of investigative journalism around health, uh, uh, natural health and uh, natural health solutions and uh, producing content around how to, how to uh, approach these type of situations and learned a lot about nutrition and food supply system and the healthcare system that was kind of very bizarre to me first, because at least 35 years of my life, I thought that, you know, we can go into an office with white walls, with, with people who are trained and, and they will give you something to help you. And suddenly I'm, I'm in my early forties and I realized this is not the case. You, you mm -hmm. have to actually, find if, if it's a chronic disease if, if you're in an acute accident in a car accident you have to say that modern medicine is the most astounding science there is today but if you you have chronic uh, uh, illness today then you have to accept at the end of the day that they don't have solutions they have um so they have methods to reduce the symptoms and and um why that is, I don't think we should get into that. That's so different. Yeah, we <laughs> couldn't a, agree that's, more that's, yeah. Yeah. with how you've put that. We have definitely talked frequently on the yeah. podcast um, and in our social media about, you know, Western medicine being so great for crisis management yeah. and emergency, like you said, acute stuff. But when it comes to the chronic disease management or illness, the best you can hope for most of the time is half of your symptoms being managed yeah. yeah so that's just kind of music to our ears to just hear that you have that shared view yeah so, yeah. so it was very important for me because i was uh, you know to wake up from um this illusion that the, there is a a solid science behind healing um today in the in the modern system you have to go through a tragic uh experience you have to be close to death so i had my close to death experience i once i checked into a hospital and they gave me three days to live because of blood poisoning and they used oh, a very a experimental antibiotics on me they flew this stuff with a private jet into the hospital and injected me with this stuff and i was uh, three days uh un under this this uh, antibiotic treatment and was ha hallucinating uh, and fairly certain that I was dying. So when I, mm -hmm. when I got out of that and I survived, uh, it was a kick in my ass to really start researching what's going on and how to help myself. Uh, otherwise, my life would end pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so in, in that sense, I'm grateful for, for that experience. But with that dedication of, of trying to find something authentic for myself, I changed my lifestyle. One of the first things I did was I realized that I started listening to my gut or let's say intuition. And one of the first things was that uh, I need to get out of LA. LA was not, not the environment to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to get out of this constant stress environment. I have to do things that are truly inspire me. Uh, I don't think it's a problem to push yourself, but if you push yourself 
uh, in a way that is not aligned with what, what you're really about, it's a problem. It's because mm -hmm. everything that has to do with chronic disease is about energy loss. Uh, you have 200 different autoimmune conditions, but you have a thousand different chronic disease conditions. But if you really dig in there, it boils down to the inability of the cells to regenerate. And it boils down to mitochondrial health. Um, 95% of our health uh, energy is, is, is coming from mitochondria. So mm -hmm. anything that we can do to help these guys crank more energy during the day uh, is going to be beneficial for regenerating. So it's a, ultimately, it's an energy equation that we have to work with. So in, in, with that in mind, I started researching anything that will increase our energy level. Uh, and, and I also uh, made the decision and the commitment to pursue a path that would be more energy positive for me. So I, I tried to simplify the language rather than look at my conditions, like what is this uh, allergy about here on my hand or what's going on my skin? I don't go to skin doctor or, or um, uh, something happening with my lungs or et cetera. I don't go to a lung doctor. I look at the what's going on with my overall energy? Why am I not healing? Because the mm -hmm. body, body is built and designed to be self-healing. That's an absolute fact. So once, you, uh, once I made that decision, everything started happening. Uh, there is this law of synchronicity that people and solutions start uh, are coming to you when, when you're on a path that you define. And in this way, uh, some weird things started happening in the next next few years. I landed in a very small village in Greece. I was squeezed between the Spartan mountains and the uh, Aegean uh, 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 sea. So I was swimming and I was hiking and I was eating fish, uh, everything organic. Uh, and I was studying and learning about natural ways of, of uh, living. And I was writing a lot about that. And I was also studying chronic disease. I was uh, looking at cancer, the history of cancer, and why since 1920s, the rates are just worse with all the uh, uh, progress in science. I just couldn't understand it. So I needed to understand that. And uh, at one stage, I, I um, got involved in very advanced uh, molecular uh, blood um, uh, a scans called uh, metabolomic uh, medicine that looks at how well the mitochondria uh, are performing. And with these tests, you can pretty much define what your deficiencies are. So they can tell you what exact uh, micronutrition you need to eat to get the ATP production back up. But uh, still, micronutrition is great, but it's only a small part of the total equation. So during this, to make a long story short, uh, over 10 years, I uh, was navigating from one solution to another and focusing on things that really looked at root causalities. I mean, what is really happening at the back, uh, background of, of my uh, problem rather than looking at, at the symptoms. And, and during that time, uh, uh, I met people in Vienna in Austria, where I'm right now. And they uh, told me about this technology, uh, frequency medicine technology that had been around for 30 years and I had never heard about it. And I was extremely, extremely skeptical about it. Um, but I was kind of curious because the people I was talking to seemed to be on, on the level. So I, I went to meet them and I saw these machines and they were huge. I mean, they were like the three massive bricks, the size of an old stereo system and a lot of cables and antennas and, and um, just something that I had never seen before. And, and at that stage, I didn't even realize that or understand or have the knowledge about how we how the human body actually works which uh, the regulatory mechanism of uh, cells for example is more uh, electric and electromagnetic than chemical i mean the, all the instant reactions the communication in the body 
between 30 trillion cells and another 100 trillion bacteria and another 380 trillion viruses, all the organs, all, all the sinews, all the neurons in the brain, all of them have a very specific uh, electromagnetic spectrum. And, and when we look at the totality of the human condition, it's, it's, we are basically shining with electromagnetic uh, fields that are very specific and very unique. And all of this sounded very, very esoteric to me at the time, as, uh, but I decided to take a diagnosis and it only takes eight minutes to measure your field. And uh, the, these big uh, systems, the machines that were around uh, could do that well, well, like in eight to 12 minutes, you could do 200 million measurements. And the way it works is it scans the entire spectrum of all the different frequencies that are critical to our health. So it looks at all the big organs. It looks at all the different areas of the brain. Um, the all most of the microbes in the in the microbiome. Uh, it has cataloged most of the viruses that are we deal with inside the human body, which most of them, by the way, are beneficial, uh, not a threat. They're working with the bacteria. They're protecting the bacteria. They're feeding the bacteria. We are mostly viruses uh, in the age where we are protecting ourselves against one virus right now. Mm -hmm. The truth is that the health is, is based on a diversity of microbes, and we are a superorganism a community of, of microbes. So this machine is able to look at this community and see where the energy loss is, which ones of these um, frequency uh, microbes and, and organs is using more energy than they should disproportionately. And, and on the other hand, also it was able to block uh, uh, to to uh, spot the areas where the energy was blocked. Um, so you get a pretty amazing scan of the reality of your energy condition in such a short time. And um, what convinced me was that I, I saw immediately from the results a couple of things. Uh, for example, an issue that I have with my left shoulder, a chronic issue I had at the time that I had told no one another gut issue, et cetera, that I got an answer for in 10 minutes that I had been searching for an answer for over two years. So of course, uh, I, th I thought I'd landed somewhere that was very interesting. It didn't mean that I accepted everything immediately. I was still skeptical, but I, it, it was so convincing and impressive that I started studying it and, and also started uh, using these instruments on other people that I were consulting with, with uh, their energy conditions. So bottom line is that after two years, I, I got close to the people who developed the machines. They are uh, German and, and Swiss, um, um, uh, a group of people, very professional, who have been working and developing these machines since early 1980s. Gosh. And, and the, the clinical machines, um, it's always, always been a kind of a small community, the, the vital field community. There's about 2,800 clinics now in Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. And I would say they're nat naturopaths, they're homeopaths, they're, they're uh, sports therapists. They are uh, a wide range of natural doctors who specialize in various autoimmune conditions, in chronic disease. But they also interestingly specialize in recuperation and regeneration for top athletes. So some of the, um, uh, we have probably over 15 gold Olympic medalists, for example, who come constantly to, to these clinics to regenerate faster. And if they have damage from uh, excess training or damage uh, because of some type of injury, they come to these clinics and, and they regenerate up to three times faster than they would uh, in wild. normal circumstances. So all of this meeting and meeting hundreds of these doctors and interviewing them um, 
with my filmmaker background um, and my research background got me so excited about it that uh, I combined my business experience with, with, with this passion and, and convinced them that we need to broaden the market. Uh, we need to miniaturize these machines and we need to bring the budget down because these machines, you have to invest around 100,000 to get you know, a decent set going. And synchronistically, another synchronicity happened. I came across uh, with my partner here in Austria. I came across uh, another company that was manufacturing a a patented new material that was actually able to retain these type of frequencies for longer than six months. In fact, if you look at the material, we have lab studies. You You can store these frequencies on this material and after six months, the, the intensity loss is less than 4%. So, oh a, lot, so a lot of the uh, athletes, for example, who use these, what we call energy cells today, uh, they wear them a year, one and a half years. Then when they have a problem, they put it back on. And when they don't, they put it back in the shelf and then they pull it out and they give it to their friends, etc. cetera. Um, so... Uh, that was the critical point. When this material came through, we realized that we can give uh, people the opportunity to try these type of treatments at a very low budget. And mm-hmm. for the first time, you could try this type of therapy for less than a couple of hundred bucks. So right now we're selling them at one, 123, which is less than a, a month of painkillers. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the interesting challenge here is, is that these big machines, they have literally thousands and thousands of different modalities. You can increase the energy of mitochondria. You can, you can um, increase your resistance to specific toxins, for example. If you're a hairdresser, uh, you're handling the similar kind of toxins all the, all the time. Uh, these type of people have a lot of um, uh, allergies specific to that and there's really nothing you can do uh, except protect your skin but interestingly we can increase the resistance of people against specific toxins if they cannot remove themselves from that environment mm-hmm. and and they be with these type of uh, frequency treatments uh, but but the same applies to uh, allergies of all kinds it applies to viruses if you have specific viruses or parasites we can, we can deal with them because we can scan the specific frequency range of, of, of that microbe and we can either support it if it's a good bacteria or we can uh, deconstruct it and weaken it if it's, let's say, a, a pathogenic virus or a pathogenic bacteria or a parasite. So the, there's a universe of different options. And, and one of the things that that all I noticed for people who have not really gotten very comfortable with this type of new technology is that if you tell them that you can do a million things with these machines, it doesn't really sound very credible. So mm-hmm. uh, I made the decision from day one that let's, let's just focus on a couple of things in the beginning. And pain, chronic pain, happens to be a very, very good starting point because Number one, you either know it's working or it doesn't work very quickly. Um, and you're addressing something that is connected to most chronic pains, um, uh, chronic uh, uh, issues. Pain is there, uh, whether it's su- systemic or localized, uh, it's very often related to inflammation. So, um, and even if it's acute, mm-hmm. there's, there's ways to help the cells regenerate faster so uh, we did two years of testing with with these uh, which were at that stage called uh, chips now we call them cells and we took them to a german lab um, to a guy that had absolutely no bias towards alternative solutions you know straightforward conservative cell biologist who works with pharmaceutical companies yeah. um, and said, can you test these cells? Uh, and we won't tell you which one is charged, which one is uh, blank. Uh, and he did repeated tests. And this is how we found out for the first time that these 
energy cells could make a significant difference in cell regeneration, 25% uh, uh, difference in, for example, wound healing. Uh, we had cell metabolism up to 60% faster. And then we had also new modalities like immune cells that uh, we were looking at incredibly significant results. And we realized that, okay, this is something that is very promising, but we also have to be very careful not to make any type of claims because uh, the reality is that um, the regulation is very pharma oriented. Mm -hmm. um, so our starting point has always been let us try and help you. If it doesn't work for you, then you send this product back to us. And, and 2019 was pretty much a testing ground for the cells in Europe. And we had over 3,000 3, um, uh, patients uh, in, in Germany and Austria. And we had over 80% success rate at that time. So That's so exciting. We started building, my, my, my passion was to get this to America because I, I still feel, even though I'm a Finnish guy, really, I'm a Finnish German guy, somehow my, my, my heart is in California still. Uh, and I wanted to get this to California because I also know how the chronic disease groups there work. And I had been communicating for at least eight years, producing content for people and communicating with them with my other company. Oh, and here and in the States, we're also very the... go, 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 chronic stress <laughs> yeah. all the time. Exactly. Do all the things. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So when um, in 2020, April 2020, uh, we opened uh, the online uh, activity, which was more or less exactly the time when uh, the coronavirus uh, came, came around. So not an optimal time to open a, a business, but... Um, the, the success rate was even higher in, in US. So wow. I, we have uh, a return rate. We don't ask questions. If it doesn't work for you, we don't ask questions. We return the money. And it's very important to understand that the, the way to think in energy medicine is completely different. Uh, the energy medicine recognizes that we are extremely individualistic when it comes to our energy profile. And that there's, there is no one pill or one solution that can solve you or heal you. Uh, we come from, from the, the, with the idea that we can help the body heal itself and give it more energy and make it easier for that uh, uh, body to process the stress that's in there. And, and if we concentrate on a couple of areas first, which is right now resistance, uh, which is pain, uh, which is inflammation and, and in certain cases a combination of these cells works really well as well then we're giving the body more uh, support to do its job but we every time we we try to tell our clients this is not a solution that's going to fix your problems you also have to take care of your nutrition you have to take care of your uh, look at your stress levels you have to look at your how you're moving and and other factors in your life so uh, we published a, a book that is giving some, some um, uh, directions there as well. And uh, we hope to actually move towards a, a direction where we can give more holistic information and individualized information for people to help themselves. But the most important thing for us is that the energy cell itself doesn't present any type of danger it, it's it's non-invasive it's non-chemical there's no reported side effects some people have had a fractional uh, part of people have had slight allergic reactions from the patch which is used to uh, 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 attach the energy cell but uh, we've never had any negative reactions uh, from this product so we can safely say that we have something that from which to build further and the future mm -hmm. is looking very very exciting because uh, end of this year, we're coming uh, out with the first electronic wearables. And Ooh. you can change the program on the fly. You can uh, uh, travel with it. And the future is also uh, in downloadables because you can customize these programs. 
And the other aspect of the future is that um, we are going to miniaturize some of these diagnostic machines. They are, these, the current diagnostic machines are huge, but there will be in the next two years, uh, we hope to have a miniaturized diagnostic machine as well. So I am truly genuinely passionate about helping people identify and then, uh, then identify the root cause and then help them to get through that. And, and it's all because of my background and, and, uh, in, in realizing that I have to help myself because mm -hmm. there was no, no one I could find in the world that mm -hmm. was really trying to or able to give me real answers at the time. This is so exciting. That was amazing. Yeah. I loved all of that. Jan, thank you for sharing. Or Jan, thank you for sharing your story. One thing that really stuck out to me that I wrote a note down was, is when you first were introduced to this tech, you were skeptical, but curious. Mm -hmm. And that stood out to me because that's how Cassie and I felt mm -hmm. when we were told about the energy cells. We both were, we like science. We like to nerd out on how things work and I know I was looking through like all your FAQs online being like, how, like I get those frequencies, but how is this working? I just, mm -hmm. I couldn't yeah. wrap my mind around it. Yeah. And Cassie just goes, Chelsea, shut up and put it on your body and see if it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it did. And mm -hmm. of course, like we both came into it with kind of like you a little bit of like, what is this? Is this going to work? And we both noticed remarkable differences. I mean, I had mostly like muscle soreness is kind of what my pain is and it went away. Cassie, you were able to go through a busy day without needing your hot water bottle the entire time, which was awesome. huge for you. It was huge. It was like a really big moment because we started with, I wore the anti-inflame and Chelsea wore mm -hmm. the no pain and inflammation is like my middle name these days <laughs> through my body. And so to wear that and you know, within 48 hours, mm -hmm. I, I, like Chelsea said, I made it through my whole work day without just thinking of my hot water bottle in the back of my mind constantly. Um, it was a really big deal. And so that night, you know, awesome. I texted Chelsea and was like, I think these are working, you <laughs> I know, like, I think they are too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's which is great because we have to be, you know, the, the pharmaceutical solutions are, uh, are one area mm -hmm. And, and we have to appreciate they serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. Um, with the caveat that they're not, probably not going to address the root cause too much, mm -hmm. but they will address uh, and, uh, a lot of things. But mm -hmm. th there's another field, which is that when people get uh, realize that uh, pharmaceuticals are not necessarily the, the helping them long term, they try to look at a lot of alternative solutions. And once you get into the alternative area, uh, it's unfortunate, but there's a lot of, lot of um, questionable mm -hmm. stuff out there. Yes. Uh, so we don't have, especially when you're sick uh, um, and, and you're suffering, you don't have time or resources to do the research. Mm -hmm. And you don't have necessarily the energy to figure out who's telling the truth. Because there's some mm -hmm. people who are really brilliant in, in coming up with all kinds of scams. And I, I realized that in, in, in the case of our challenge uh, has also been a communication challenge. How do you stand out from a lot of, you know, uh, different holograms, uh, et cetera, that are out there. You put a patch on yourself and so they're supposed to help you. Um, we want to stand out in terms of the scientific aspect. Yeah. Um, and, and that's why we're putting so much effort and invest so much money and time in, in clinical studies. Uh, we're doing right now uh, studies uh, on sperm cells and fertility, uh, for example. Oh, that's uh, so cool. Which, which, which uh, we have um, initial results last year is that for the first time, we were able to increase the longevity of sperm cells up to three times. Uh, so we wow. had sperm cells that were living for nine days, and that's unheard of. We also have uh, been able to uh, energize uh, egg cells, et cetera. And, and, and some of the leading fertility doctors in Austria are using this to help uh, with fertility issues. Mm -hmm. there, there is a very interesting thing is happening. We're exposed to a lot of EMF 
by th mm -hmm. by using the uh, mobile phone a lot. Um, this is underappreciated. Uh, I didn't really believe in it uh, in the beginning, but uh, it has a big effect on our mitochondria. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if you if we are overstressed with a emf and then in addition we are bombarded with chronic st stress it's just cumulative so and, and the higher the frequency when we move from 3g to 4g to 5g you don't need a conspiracy it's uh it's happening your uh, dna is going to uh, degenerate faster than it would in normal circumstances it doesn't happen immediately but what we are in the big cities like los angeles it's, it's a massive, massive drain on your overall energy because there's so many signals, not just mental, but also mm -hmm. electromagnetic signals. Um, so taking care of that aspect of, of your environment, where you are, making mm -hmm. sure that you're not getting hit by um, uh, man-made electromagnetic uh, EMF constantly is a very big part of it. Uh, shutting down your Wi-Fi, uh, making sure your phone is not next to your bed when you're sleeping. All of that is part of the, 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 the uh, education we're trying to give to our customers. Because let's say you take an energy cell uh, for against inflammation, but, but you keep your phone next to your bed and Wi-Fi next to your bed. You know, these are all things you need to take into consideration. Um, and and. Uh, we want to make more tests with, with sperm cells are very interesting because they are the first line of defense against these type of influences. So if you're mm. living in, in, in a high EMF environment, you can measure it objectively very quickly, but the mitochondria inside, uh, uh, in, inside the sperm cells will get the first blast and, and you will see that in the lab tests very quickly. So how to protect yourself from those type of influences, especially when you're a young couple and trying to have a baby. Fertility rates have gone down dramatically since 1919, since we started using cell phones. Huh. Uh, um, so in a way, we are the positive answer to EMF because we bring in the natural frequencies. We're imitating nature's frequencies and the healthy frequencies are versatile. They're natural. They are diverse. And when we are subjected to these type of subtle, diverse frequencies, it's like going out in a walk uh, or in the nature or in the mountains. You feel the effect. And it's not just because of the fresh air. It's the frequencies of nature. Uh, so th these type of influences, I think both in terms of solutions and, and communication and understanding is very important to back, uh, bring back to the people. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that explanation so much. I'm very science-minded myself. I love all the research that you're talking about, um, making sure that you're taking these energy cells to researchers and scientists that are not going to have a, oh, my brain is blanking on the word, um, conflict, a conflict of interest. Um, yeah, they're going to be totally, very, yeah. very um, able to look at it from a new way and not have their data skewed because they're trying to show a certain result. Like that researcher that you took it to in Germany that normally does pharmaceutical research. Yeah. The, they, they probably don't want your stuff to show off as good because no. it's going to actually yeah. hurt the pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think that those attention to detail, I also really appreciate that you're trying to bring that education and awareness to your company of the holistic care that has to happen yes yeah. you can slap on an energy cell and it can make a big difference but if the rest of your life is just a mess mm -hmm. it's yeah. i mean you're barely putting a band-aid on a wound versus exactly. actually letting the wound heal exactly and i think that it's so interesting that there's so many different ways that these frequencies these cells can help our bodies but if it really goes down to the, the cells themselves it's the mitochondria regenerating being able to function properly it does make sense that it would help help a whole wide range of things because you are made up of, I don't know the number, like trillions of cells and they all have mitochondria. Cur current count is 38. Yeah. Yes. There you go. See, yeah. you are, not, you are the expert in this. That's a lot of <laughs> mitochondria yeah. Yeah. that get affected. Yeah. And so each of them might, off, might have up to 200. Uh, so gosh. it's crazy. Yeah. We're, we're, That's a lot. <laughs> we're an amazing powerhouse. It's incredible how much energy we produce. We produce in terms of ATP, if the cell fuel that we produce uh, every day, recycle through the body every day is almost 
70 kilograms. How many pounds is that? 160 pounds of cells that goes through the systems. Uh, we're, we are the most efficient energy generators uh, mm. in, in existence. Uh, the, the whole mitochondrial cellular uh, production is, is just a miracle. And, mm, and yeah. it explains when, when, when you undermine that energy equation, it explains the modern symptoms and, and it explains why 60% of the people today have chronic disease. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, I think it's, for me, it's equally or even more important to engage in this communication for people to understand that chronic disease is not a something that they uh, something that they have because they uh, they either inherited it mm -hmm. or uh, there's something wrong with them or uh, it's almost some some people feel like it's their destiny to have this it's not a destiny it's not genetic they don't deserve it and most of it 99.9% .9 of these conditions can be cured naturally. It's very dangerous to say this today, uh, you know, but, but people need to get back into the idea of self-empowerment, that they are in charge and, and, and everything is con conditional on this energy equation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and having some hope, and even like you said in the very beginning, you know, so much of the healing takes place between the ears. I mean, in the sense <laughs> of, bringing in, just like Chelsea said, your holistic view, looking at the lifestyle, the environment, the body. I mean, things like, yeah, if you're in an unhealthy relationship that yeah. contributes to, like you said, loss of energy and the body being depleted. Yeah. If you live your life in shoes and yeah. you don't get to connect, you know, with the ground and the earth, with your feet and your skin, I mean, that yeah. makes a difference. Absolutely. And just little moments like that or going outside to get some sunshine and sunlight on the skin. I, I remember when, when my son was born, he was jaundice. Um, and so they have that yellowing at the skin for babies and it's quite common. And, um, doctors and nurses recommend all sorts of things for it. But my mom, she was an acupuncturist, alternative medicine. And she said, no, no, just take him by the window and get sunlight on him. And it was gone within, you know, a couple wow. of days. Awesome. And yeah. it, B vitamin, what can I say? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And she said, you know, you don't need to do anything else. It just, he just needs some sunlight. And so I, I was fortunate to be raised in that sense of not taking those things for granted and, mm. you know, coming back to just earth and natural and alternative and what the body is capable of and willpower and everything. And it's been interesting uh, to be raised in that background and then go into the Western medical world with treatments and medications and drugs mm -hmm. to try and manage my disease of which most have not worked. And so one of the interesting things too is a lot of those drugs and medications to treat IBD and specific, uh, specifically inflammatory bowel disease, those medications take a while to work, even up to like sure. six months or so. Sure. And so when Chelsea and I put on the energy cells, uh, I definitely was like, well, this may not work, especially in anti-inflame inflammation is so chronic and systemic. This could take forever. So yeah. it was pretty incredible to notice, you know, within 40, 48 to 72 hours that just my fingers felt less puffy, mm -hmm. you know, the way wow. my pants wow. were fitting felt less constricting. I mean, and, um, I am quite in touch with the body with, with my body. And like I said, having gone through all sorts of different types of medicine, you know, quick fixes and things that take six months to work. I was pretty impressed. And Chelsea and I really appreciate how much effort you have put into explaining the science on your website and in your emails, because we are both we both like come of the, some of the woo woo stuff, you know, like mm -hmm. earthing, yeah. going and standing outside with your feet in the grass and how oh, that yeah. is, which beneficial. is huge, which is huge, huge. by the way, Ab yeah. absolutely huge. Yeah. We both and, are like, no, that's a thing, you know, yeah. but we also like very scientific based stuff. Yeah. So, um, but that's a, just, 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 just the thing that grounding is scientific. 
but it's yeah. associated oh. with woo woo, you know? Yes, mm-hmm. that's perfectly put. You're right. That's, that's exactly right. And so, um, this, we were just so thrilled to try the vital fields and feel a benefit much more quickly than we expected. In addition, we were kind of thinking nothing would happen and we wouldn't feel yeah. any kind of benefit. Yeah. And so to now get to talk to you about some of the backgrounds and your passions with it, it's really refreshing um, to have that really aligned perspective and mindset on how to treat the body and medicine. And I think it's really cool that even just being in such a high stress environment led you down this path Mm -hmm. because stress is one of those things that, you know, it it's talked about everyone knows, Oh, you know, yeah, stress isn't great for your health, but, um, people still are in denial about it. And it's hard to, you know, it's hard to like take a step out and look at your daily life and really admit or accept or take a look at how much stress is in your daily life and the yeah. effect that it's having. So and I think also, that's amazing. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think stress and understanding it's, it's um, I'm, I'm still learning about it. And I, mm-hmm. I think one of the thing, one of the things about stress is that we um, mistake stress for a lot of activity. It's not because um, the type of stress that is wearing us out is uh, I would say the simple answer is that when we're doing hectically things that we're not aligned with Mm. but if we are pushing ourselves with things that we love um, and it's heavy stuff I mean we're carrying boulders but we love this stuff for some odd reason Mm. then it's not uh, affecting us negatively um, Mm. which is very important to understand in one of the um, one of the big influences in in this chronic disease plague which we are in within now right now is that we are actually don't have enough positive stress we're not pushing ourselves enough we don't we are very comfortable the modern lifestyle is super comfortable uh, we're constantly in the perfect temperature we're constant, we're not moving enough. We have uh, transport mechanisms to everywhere. Uh, people who live a long life, you can find them in certain areas of the world. They're constantly moving and they, they are often living in mountainous areas where they have uh, uh, engaged in resistance, physical resistance throughout the day. They're not going for 45 minutes exercise in a gym the exercise is part of their lifestyle. They're constantly part of the nature and, and, and getting air and, and sun. Uh, but, but resistance is very often misunderstood as, as, as pressure. Pressure is actually when we're doing things that we are aligned with is very good for us. We grow stronger from it. But um, this... Excess comfort is actually, I think, a big part of the reason why so many people are ill today. They Mm -hmm. don't have enough uh, challenges. They don't have enough diversity of signals in their life. So it's very interesting to simplify everything and and, and stop looking at ourselves as individuals, uh, biochemical beings, and just sometimes jump from the particle to the wave type thinking Mm -hmm. and, and think... I'm a kind of a radio station. If you, if you measure me, I'm, I, I reach out 10 feet around me, uh, are the fields, and people come in my, in my uh, range, their field is influencing me. What type of a field is that person representing has a big influence on my energy level. And when I'm with the person who's next to me, we form a signal together. So all of these fields come together and, and we just feel best when we are in nature. Um, so it's challenging to keep yourself uh, in a high energy state when you're living in, in a city on asphalt, mm-hmm. insulated from the ground. Insulation is a big problem. Uh, you're never grounded. You have chronic stress. You're most likely doing eight to four type work that just for the money very often. Uh, so these type of things are the serious, uh, the, the, the bulk of the problem. Um, and, and how to change that is, is not easy because we've been in this for a hundred years now. 
uh, thinking mm -hmm. that this is the way to go, living in the big city and, and uh, doing it. But I think the health scare that we are going through right now, a uh, part of the reason why it's so um, massive is because we, we come from a low energy uh, position to begin with. Our immune mm -hmm. systems are not able to cope with with a, a virus uh, that's not particularly much more uh, uh, dangerous than a, a flu virus would be if we had a healthy immune system. And you can see that from the statistics. So in order to have a long-term long -term solution uh, and, and live an energetic life, we need to go back to the basics. And, and that part of that is uh, really looking at you as an individual and not try and copy someone else's lifestyle, but go back to what lights you up in this life, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and eat the things that give you energy. Don't listen to that nutritionist uh, every time uh, uh, and don't necessarily go for the sugar, but measure what type of energy do you have 20 to 30 minutes after eating your dinner, mm -hmm. because you can, tune back into your body and listen to the signals that it's telling you uh, about what type of people, what type of environment, what type of foods, what type of thoughts are giving you energy. And, and that's, that, I think, a big part of the healing process. I love that you just said, listen to your body, because I think that's something that I know I say, and I think Cassie says a lot, we're both Pilates instructors by trade, um, <laughs> on top of being podcasters. But we're always telling people to connect to their bodies. And I think that it's just something, I don't want to speak for the entire world, but I will speak for the United States. We don't listen to our bodies. We look at an, a, a smartwatch or an app on our phone to tell us if we had a good enough workout or if we quote unquote slept mm -hmm. enough or if we've eaten enough food or if we've eaten the right mm -hmm. types of food. Yeah. We don't listen to our bodies anymore. And we cut off so much information that could help us truly feel our best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Just by checking in to see how you feel and even saying your thoughts, you know, and mm -hmm. that's something that I've said, it takes more energy to think negatively than it does to think positively yeah. or optimistically. It yeah, takes more absolutely. energy. Yeah. And so um, it's, this has just been such a treasure to chat mm -hmm. with you because so much of what you said is, so aligned with what Chelsea and I believe. Awesome. Man. And yeah, it, it just makes me feel even more honored and excited to be involved with your company and to have mm. discovered them and, mm. and to know what the future holds. I mean, yeah. wearable devices and then the diagnostic tools that you're creating. And it's just, it's, it's really exciting and advocating, like you said, for looking at the body as a whole and as an individual, going back to the basics and just not um, dismissing some of, some of that woo woo stuff. Like <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to live in a concrete jungle. You know, I, I've been fortunate enough to not live that way. I, I did grow up in England and that there was more concrete, I guess, in that city than in Kansas here in mm. the U S that being said, we walked everywhere living in England mm -hmm. and in the U S okay. you know, you drive everywhere, at least where, in the where are you guys right now? Where, where are you? Kansas, Wichita, Kansas, in okay. the US. smack yeah. dab in the middle of the United States. <laughs> I know Wichita. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. So we have beautiful, like vast lands, mm -hmm. but you do have to drive to go pretty much everywhere here. And you know, that is, an element that does just disconnect you more. And it, it is refreshing when you go to Europe or other big cities in the U S I'm sure when you can walk and you could live your whole life without a vehicle, if you wanted. And, um, I do believe that that's something that, um, more people should be doing is just, just walking, just that natural oh, exercise, yeah. Absolutely. you know, that the body was made to do. And, oh, you know, in the Midwest you do, and, and not just the Midwest. Cause I lived up in Pacific Northwest. It was the same. You have yeah. to, you have to make the effort to go out for a walk. Mm -hmm. Big Whereas time. In, yeah. In Europe, you walk to dinner and then you walk home and then you've just mm -hmm. naturally began to digest your food a little bit better, yeah. you know, because of the walking and little pieces of that, I hope that the U S can adopt more. And mm -hmm. so, um, even like you said, just advocating for that holistic look and what lights you up, what makes you passionate, Chelsea and oh, I, that yeah. is like so much of what we do and why we're doing this yeah. is, and, and as Pilates instructors, we both 
love the Pilates method and the benefits for the body in that sense. And so every time we go to work, even if we're tired and, you know, it's going to be a long day and you kind of go in and you're a little bit like, oh, I'm not ready to show up. You start working with someone and seeing the benefit that they're getting from Pilates and then you are yeah. lit up and yeah. then you're energized for the day and you feel fulfilled in that session. And Chelsea and I talk about that constantly. Yeah. Our feelings of like, oh no, dreading going to work. They always go away when you yeah. are seeing the benefit to the body. Yeah. And yeah. so finding something you're passionate about, I mean, that just, we are all about that too. And this has just been so exciting to yeah. have this deep and thorough conversation about what your company stands for and um, the passion behind it. I, I really appreciate the opportunity. I, I love talking to you uh, guys about this. And um, um, uh, yeah, I could go on forever about this topic. <laughs> I'm very happy to talk to you. Yeah. So um, thank you. This has been yeah. great. We, of course, have Vital Fields linked in the show notes for everyone to mm -hmm. be able to go to the website, learn more about mm -hmm. everything, sign up for your emails. Are there, is there any place else on the internet that people should go if they're wanting to learn more about Vital Fields or learn more about you and your story? Right now, right now, I think the best place is vitalfield.com um, because we try to uh, keep everything centralized there. And um, and we're going to, there's a newsletter. Uh, so all yeah. the mm -hmm. new, new things that are going to come out uh, quite soon, we're coming out with new cells and modalities um, and, and the electronic wearables. So we'll publish them in the newsletter. Yeah, we, those newsletters are fantastic, by the way. They're very good. I read every single one. And, <laughs> you know, we all get inundated with emails constantly, and we all delete emails before we even open them. I read all of the Vital Field ones because they're so interesting and the case studies. And so, yeah, we highly recommend you sign up for the newsletter. Um, it is, you know, modern medicine at its finest in a different mm. sense of how Western modern medicine, you know. And so, yeah, we totally recommend people to sign up for that newsletter. Awesome. Now you're making me blush. Right. <laughs> well, Jan, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to chat with us. This has truly been amazing. We love the energy cells. We cannot wait to see what you create in the future. Mm -hmm. It's I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Me too. Thank you so much. Have a super day there and hope to hopefully catch up with you soon. Yeah, that'd be Sounds great. Wonderful. Thank you. You okay. too. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 Hey everyone, we really hope that you enjoyed that episode. Cassie and I had so much fun talking to Jan. And if you have not gotten your energy cells yet, don't forget that you can go to vitalfields.com and use code SPOONIESUNITE in all caps to get 15% off. Again, that's code SPOONIESUNITE for 15% off. Yay, saving money. If you can't tell, Cassie and I are obsessed with these energy cells. They're amazing. They're our favorite things. We own both the anti-inflame and the no pain because they're that amazing. And we're definitely going to try the regenerate, which is their immune enhancing energy cell. So all good things. We cannot wait to see what they create in the future. And I'm sure that we will also love those too. But again, use the link in the show notes or type in vitalfields.com to get your energy cells and let us know how you like them. Oh, no, don't stop recording. Cancel. Ah, oh, shit. Olivia, please ignore that. <laughs> Starting again. Hey, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed that interview with Jan. We had so much fun talking to him. He has so much passion and so many of his ideals on holistic health were in such alignment with what Cassie and I believe in, which is why we are ambassadors for Vital Field. We would not be ambassadors for a company we did not believe in. We fully believe in them. We are obsessed with our energy cells. If you haven't noticed, we love their anti-inflame and their no pain. And we are planning on trying their resistance one very soon because that one's all about helping your immune system. And you know, that's always good, no matter what is going on in the world. So if you want to try the energy cells yourself, go to vitalfield.com and use code spoonies unite for 15% off It's spoonies unite in all caps. That's also listed out in the show notes. So check that out. If you buy some, let us know how you like them. And if you don't like them, cause it's okay. Sometimes things just don't work 
the same way for everyone. You can always send them back. So it's risk-free. Try it. If you love them, great. Let us know. If you don't, also let us know because we like hearing about your experience. Otherwise, we hope you enjoyed the episode and we will be in your ears again soon. Woohoo! Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's episode of The Real Life Show, Living with a Chronic Illness. We are honored to be introducing our guest today and to have him on our podcast, Jan Wellman. Jan. I was just going to redo that. (laughs) Jan Wellman is an entrepreneur and health coach. He's founded several pioneering ventures, including one that revolutionized mobile gaming, Riot E. He's the founder of health and wellness portals, Honey Colony and Simple Transformative, which have been operating from Los Angeles since 2013. In 2018, he launched Energy for Living, a biohacking venture to optimize the human energy potential. In 2019, he co-founded Vital Field Technologies to revolutionize the possibilities of frequency medicine, aka biophysical medicine, in wearable devices. In the past, he's also worked as a writer, producer, director on documentary films that he made in over two dozen countries for both network and theatrical venues. One of the things that I love so much about Jan and this interview and what I love about Energy Cells, the Vital Field Company, everything, all the things, is that they really view individuals and people and medicine and energy and health as a whole. You know, when we live with chronic illness and chronic disease, we're often, you know, boomeranged between different doctors and they don't communicate and it's symptoms for this diagnosis for this specialist for this specialist for that. And I really appreciated his overall approach to well-being, lifestyle, body, mind, emotions, everything. And the fact that the energy cells and the science behind vital field prioritizes that as well is really appealing and Chelsea and I truly align, um, with their values. Yeah. Ever since Cassie and I were introduced to the energy cells and have used them ourselves, we became super fans. If y'all haven't noticed, we love these little energy cells. They, we truly notice a difference in our lives, even though we were incredibly skeptical that there would be a difference. And when we first started using them and being able to sit down and talk with Jan about, why he is so passionate about this field, about this company, about these products, and just get to learn how they are made, why are they made the way they are, the difference that they make, how they influence the frequency of our cells and why that is important. It was just a fascinating hour. And it was so fun to talk to him because so many of his values just about life really aligned with what Cassie and I believe in. It's about creating a life that you really love, take caring, taking care of yourself from the inside out, and it was, it was a spectacular chat with him. I did want to give a little science lesson for anyone that has forgotten their high school biology. We do talk a little bit about mitochondria in the cells and how they help with cell regeneration and the energy of the cell. And so for anyone that's like, what the heck is a mitochondria? It is known as the powerhouse of the cell. So it's the part of your cells that is actually responsible for creating energy, which our cells form of energy is ATP. So basically these mitochondria are very, very important. Mitochondria and health can be very, very important. And as we talk with Jan, there's definitely some things out there in our life that can make our mitochondria in our cells overall, just not as healthy as they could be, which creates systemic and specific problems in our bodies. So we really hope you enjoy this episode. Please reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, We love, love, love hearing from you all. And we hope that this episode also helps answer any questions that you may have about the energy cells and what they're all about. Enjoy the show.